Running seemed like such a cheap sport when I started. Uh, get some shoes and go out running. Uh, I quickly found out that there's a lot more to it and running can actually turn out to cost you a lot of money. Uh, between shoes, clothes, gear, signing up for races, it all adds up fast. So today, I have some tips for runners to save some money. So we keep saving our money for the worm store. Let's start with the shoes. I've mentioned this before, uh, they are the most important part of your running gear. The most important part of your running gear is your shoes. So you want to make sure that you get the right shoes for you. So don't get the cheapest thing out there, but get good quality shoes. Okay, so that doesn't sound like you're going to save some money, uh, but even the good quality shoes go on sale. Uh, if you're not bothered about having the, the newest shoes or the hippest style out there, uh, buy last year's collection, sometimes at 50% off the regular price. Now a good tip I have for this is newsletters. Sign up for your favorite run company's newsletter. Uh, a lot of these will allow their subscribers early access to sales, sometimes even a higher discount when there is a sale. This goes for shoes, but also other running gear. Uh, companies like Adidas, Nike, Brooks, Hoka, they all reward their newsletter subscribers this way. And that way, you can have your pick of sale items when there is still a, a large selection. Go to Tony's, they're cheaper, you know, and they've got a great selection. All right, well, thank you for the tip. There are affiliate links with discount. Uh, a lot of companies will reward referrals for new customers, and a lot of times this comes with a discount code. Uh, now you can find these in reviews of products uh, in my description of my videos. I always have affiliate links and some of these uh, will give new customers a discount. So when you're looking for a certain item, uh, check out if there's a review and see if there's a discount code in the description. It saves to plan ahead. Now races can cost quite a bit of money. Uh, when you like doing fun runs, it can add up quickly. Uh, 20 bucks here, 40 bucks there. I'm not even talking about marathons or uh, run Disney registration prices. Uh, if you're doing a, a couple of races a month, it can get expensive. Uh, now a lot of races have an early sign-up price that is lower than the regular registration price. So uh, by planning ahead and knowing uh, where and when you want to run, it can save you some money. Uh, a lot of races also have special prices for uh, teams to sign up or for uh, have a group discount. So uh, sign up with some friends or uh, uh, check on Facebook, on running groups to, to see if uh, you can get a team together and save some money that way. What if I told you we were putting a team together? Who's we? A wonderful time to save money on running items is of course Black Friday. Uh, you can save money on gear, shoes, but also gels and protein bars. Seeing that things like gels have a pretty long shelf life, I normally buy the bulk of my gels and other running food uh, on Black Friday. Uh, and that gives me the highest discount that there is throughout the year. Uh, of course, it means having to spend a lot of money at once, but it saves me money in the long run. Race photos can be great for your social media, and if you run a marathon, it's great to have a beautiful shot of you running or crossing that finish line. Uh, if you think you're likely to buy these photos, uh, most of the time there is a discount when you pre-order them before the race. Uh, of course, you don't know what kind of photos you get or how many, uh, but when all you care about is that one shot over the finish, then yeah, the rest is just extra. If you have any tips of your own, feel free to let me know down in the comments. I hope some of these tips will help you to save some money and will make it a little bit cheaper to get out there and run.